Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a Divi button module to trigger a Divi overlay. And so for this tutorial, I'm going to be following this guide here, which you can get to this page from the product documentation. Click on Divi overlays and then find uh, where we talk about triggering a overlay with a Divi button. And so I'm going to be following this. Uh, really simple. If you've already watched the image module um, tutorial on how to use an image uh, to trigger a Divi overlay, then it's very simple. Same principle applies. If you have not watched the getting started tutorial for Divi overlays, I highly recommend starting with that because that's going to show you how to um, create an overlay uh, as well as uh, activate your license, that sort of thing. It's very foundational for using Divi overlays. Uh, so this video is only going to show you how to set up a trigger. We're not going to actually create the overlay. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first step for creating, um, or I'm sorry, using a Divi button as a trigger is to, of course, create the button. So I'm going to go over here to my sample page. I'm going to go ahead and add a button here. Let's see, where is the button module? Here we go. And uh, the button text can be anything you want. I'm just going to say test overlay. And then um, the button URL, you have to have something here. Even though we're not linking to a page, we have to have something here. And so we're going to put an anchor tag um, or a pound sign, hashtag, whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to put an open. It can say whatever you want as long as you have the um, that pound sign, which signifies that it's an anchor link. Um, and so Divi won't strip that out. If you just have open, it's not gonna work. So you need either that, obviously something like google.com would work, but then that's what it's gonna do is gonna trigger the overlay and then uh, change the page. So you wanna say open, open overlay, whatever you want. Um, you can have it say bananas, etc. cetera. So uh, go ahead and leave that there. And then the next thing we wanna do to actually trigger the overlay, just like uh, using the image module, we're gonna add the CSS ID, the unique Divi overlay CSS ID. So I'm going to go back to my overlay edit screen here. And I'm going to copy this. Paste that there. Click save. Update the page. Refresh the front end page. Let's see, where did I add that button? Oh, right here, okay. Now you can see this is the default Divi button styling it doesn't look that great, but for this, it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna click it and there is my overlay. That's all you have to do is create the, the Divi button module, add in something for the, the URL, uh, hashtag, number sign, open, whatever, and then add that unique Divi overlay ID to the, uh, the advanced CSS ID. So um, again, very simple, very easy to do. All you have to do is make sure you, you put everything in the right place. And just to uh, reiterate, you wanna put it in the CSS ID, not the class. Make sure you put it there, otherwise it won't work. So that is it for, for this tutorial. Uh, feel free to take a look at the additional tutorials for Divi Overlay, setting up different click triggers as well as the automatic triggers as well as the tutorials on the additional features and customization options within Divi Overlays. And as always, if you have any trouble and need any help, feel free to open a support ticket uh, from on Divi Life so you can find the support page, get support under Divi Store. Also, there's a link in the footer, get support. And uh, yeah, feel free to reach out. All right, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial.